Yes, I use Evernote every day. <laughs> but I selected four use cases from my last week to show you how I navigate my system and what I do when something unexpected comes up. I'll start with an easy one. At least it was easy to organize it in Evernote. My car has this old Bluetooth system. It's called Blue and Me. If you never heard about it, good for you. <laughs> but I needed to update it. And oh my God, the, the, the website is in an old technology called Flash. Okay, this is getting too nerdy. <laughs> Long story short, I, I dig the code, the source code of the website and extracted the files and even a PDF that I needed to, to work on the upgrade. And something tells me I'll need all this again in the future. Do you remember that I have this notebook called HOM in Evernote? I'd say it's not only for HOM related information. It's also for, it's more like a personal notebook. I have some tags there that help me find what I need. And the license plate of my car is the tag I use for all notes related to the car. And that's what I did. Now I have all the files in the note. I have the description of each file. I have the PDF, everything is there. And yes, if you didn't know it, you can store any kind of file in an Evernote note. Just drag it there or use the paper clip to add a file from your computer. There's also a notebook called Office in my Evernote. Let me show you one thing here. Can you see that, that font there? This, I believe all this, the, the office on, uh, on this part of the building, they belong to the same owner in the past because below that, there is a glass panel. And one of the first things I did when I arrived here was to install a foam, an acoustic foam there. And on top of that, I use those black foams. Unfortunately, it's not working that well. Sometimes I hear people talking and I decided to improve the insulation. And since I already have all the measurements, all I did was look for the note in my office notebook and add the tag WIP. If you watched previous videos about Evernote Home here in the channel, you know what just happened. When I got to the store, all I did was grab my phone, open Evernote, and the information was there right in front of me. If you haven't yet, please watch the other videos about Evernote Home and how my system works. Now let's move to some situations where things are not that organized. And if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. I'm thinking about buying an electric bike, but that's it. It's just a thought. When I left the home center, I saw one on display on the store in front. I kind of liked it and decided to take some pictures and save those pictures in Evernote. In these situations, I use my general purpose notebook. It's kind of a scratch pad. It's my default notebook. And as you can imagine, it's a little messy. To be honest, it's a complete mess. Even my scratch pad is set to save the notes there. On the other hand, it's quite hard to lose information in Evernote. If you haven't yet, watch my video about search. When you search for something in Evernote, let's say bicycle, bike, whatever, you see results containing a note icon. It means that that word is in that note, but we'll also see other icons. One of them is a little tag, meaning that that word is also a tag. And that's why I tagged the note with the bicycle tag. Yes, it's really hard to lose information in Evernote. Watch the other video and you understand what I mean. Okay, here's an example of something completely unexpected. Remember the last time you tried to learn something new? Remember that feeling that we'll never understand the names, concepts, and how everything is connected? In situations like this, it's really hard to come up with an organized structure from the very beginning. That's why when I start learning something, I create an entire new notebook. And I start learning something quite hard. At least it's really hard for me. <laughs> I'm trying to learn how to code. I'm trying to learn 
Python. Yeah, but I'm not gonna build any app. I'm not gonna become a developer. It's just for fun. So I created a notebook called Python. I really don't have plans, but I have to practice. And I was checking Evernote developers website and I saw that I can use Python. So <laughs> maybe in a couple of years, I'll have something to show you. As for the notebook, I don't really know what's gonna happen. Maybe it's gonna be its own notebook forever or in the future, I may move everything to my knowledge base notebook. If you enjoyed this video and wanna learn more about Evernote, subscribe to the channel. See you soon.